Millions of Americans live with chronic back pain. In fact, 80% of us will have some form of back pain during our lives. When the discs in the spine degenerate, surgery is usually the last option, but most people don't want that. That's right, and health reporter Marta Waller is here now with details about a breakthrough treatment that could make surgery a thing of the past for many patients with back pain. Tell us more, Marta. Well, this is really very interesting. Doctors are using protein shots to encourage the body to regrow degenerating discs instead of using surgery to stop the pain. A new study shows the protein just might be working. Sprinting across the park is something Will Bernaldo could only dream of doing just a year ago. The elite athlete injured himself four years ago while training for the Olympics trials. His life changed dramatically. So I just avoided driving. I avoided sitting as much as possible. When it was bad, it was you know, pretty much immediate that I was in pain while, while I was sitting. Um, you know, I've got a pretty high pain tolerance just from running, so uh, I would kind of tough through it a lot of times. But... For the most part, it was kind of, I just avoided it at all costs. Will, an avid runner, tried everything to ease the pain, but he really didn't want to have surgery to correct the problem. He wound up at the L.A. Spine Institute, where he became part of a trial of a protein that might help regenerate the disc. The protein is called BMP7, or bone morphogenetic protein. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Hun Wei explains how BMP7 helps embryos develop. When the organs are involving in the embryo, this protein is required to actually develop bone, brain, joints, kidneys, liver. Our feeling is, is that since it can generate the cartilage in embryo, can it regenerate the cartilage in the natural disc? The procedure is done at a surgery center and the patient leaves within an hour after the injection. Physiatrist Dr. Tim Davis does the procedure. And we can put it in just via a needle through the back, no more invasive than a normal epidural injection. And we implant the protein directly into the nucleus. The study is double-blind placebo-controlled, meaning out of every four patients, three receive the BMP7, while one receives saline. And no one, not even the doctors, is allowed to know which patients receive the BMP7. Dr. Davis, however, says clinical observation does suggest the BMP7 is working. So we're seeing a difference on the MRIs. We're seeing a difference in hydration. Uh, and we're also seeing a difference just in patient sitting tolerance, activity tolerance. As for Will Bernaldo? I can speculate, but that's all I can do. I, I don't know for sure, uh, but based off the results that I'm seeing, uh, I, I would clearly think that he didn't get saline. Will, who is now running 50 miles a week and has even taken up surfing, explains how he knew something was working a few months after he received his injection. The time where I really realized that I had made a, a large leap was uh, my mom's dog got away from me and I had to run after him down a hill. And I realized afterwards that my back wasn't in agony. The results of this phase of the study are expected within the next couple of months. The LA Spine Institute is still enrolling patients in this study. It's open to men ages 18 to 55 and postmenopausal women. For more information, you can log on to ktla.com.